The specific heat of a material is the amount of heat in joules required to raise one gram of that material by one degree Celsius, or by one degree Kelvin. And this is often written as Cs, the specific heat, is equal to Q over m delta t, the change in the temperature. A more common way to write this is Q equals mc delta t, where the C is the specific heat. And the larger the value of Cs, the larger the specific heat, the more heat is needed to change the temperature of that material, which is why things like metals are so easy to heat and water is so hard to heat. The specific heat for iron, Fe, is 0 0.45 joules per gram degree Celsius or 0 0.45 joules per gram Kelvin. Uh, they're the same value. And this means it only requires 0 0.45 joules to raise one gram of iron by one degree. Similarly, the specific heat of water is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius, which means it takes about 10 times as much heat to raise one gram of water by one degree. Since we know how much heat is needed to raise one gram of a material by a certain amount of temperature, by a certain amount of degrees or Kelvin, so what we can do is we can use that value to scale up or scale down as needed. So in this case, we're asked how much heat is needed to raise 100 grams of iron by 15 degrees Celsius and 100 grams of water by 15 degrees Celsius. And what we can do is we can use this Q equals MC delta T expression. We can say for iron, the amount of heat needed to raise 100 grams by 15 degrees Celsius is 0 0.45 joules per gram degree Celsius times 15 degrees Celsius. If we're raising the temperature by a certain amount, that is the size of the delta T. And we do this calculation and we work out that the amount of heat needed is 6.8 times 10 to the 2 joules, or 0 0.68 kilojoules. The amount of heat needed to raise water by 15 degrees Celsius is calculated exactly the same way. Q, the amount of heat needed to raise water by 15 degrees Celsius, is equal to the mass times the specific heat, which is in joules per gram degree Celsius again, and we're raising by 15 degrees Celsius, so our delta T is 15, and we do that calculation and we end up with 6.3 times 10 to the 3 joules, or 6.3 kilojoules.